Yeah, we'll go back to the career build series. This is episode 101. So the uh, let me open up the latest version here. So I was kind of playing around with um, with this uh, man overboard boat that I have set up here. Um, I think I'm going to leave it. I was going to try to change it. I still may at some point, but you know, at the moment, I think I'm going to keep it the way it is. Um, there's, you know, it's not a great little boat. Um, you know, I was thinking of a, even maybe making it so that the um, so Virgo could be brought up on land here, um, but I think I'll do that a little bit later. Um, you know, we can upgrade this later. So what I think I'm going to do now is actually come through, and um, I'll start working on a little bit of a parking space for the Katie did. Um, you know, I was I have it set up where I can launch that um, on top of a barge, which is still a good system but I also want to make it so that um, Katie did can land somewhere here so let's go ahead and do that as well so I'm um, trying to think how I want to do this I um, I'm thinking I want to put a helipad with the same locking system that the uh, that the barge has I think that will be helpful so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab grab these blocks here I'm trying to think where I want it need it kind of out of the way so it's not too close to the house so I think I might build it off of here and then I'm trying to see how far I can go here so right about there is where I run into space problems so maybe around here so let me just kind of see where I have space so I can just make it part of this here let me make a part of this here. All right, so we'll do that. I'll I'll put in a painting on a um, a helipad, maybe making it more of like a hexagon. Let's do that now. Let's kind of make it more of a have slope sides on it. Try to do just a little bit of measuring here. That is 24. I tend to want to have everything be odd numbered like that. So now what do we have? It should be 25. Okay, 25. So. We're at 13. 13. There, okay, that's the center point. And so what would that be? One, two, three, four, okay. All right, so I'm just giving this a little shape. Um, shaping this up a little bit. Alright, so let's go ahead and put some slope block on there. Alright, so this will just be kind of the same section here. I think that's a, is that asymmetrical? I think it might be. It's not a big deal if it is. Alright, so there is the um, helipad where I want the helipad to be and so I'll paint this a different color make this kind of a darker gray color make it actually this color I think actually I want it let me do this all right so I'm going to use the same system that I have on the uh, barge in that way I can um, that way I can lock in the um, Katie did so Katie did will be nice and locked in here and uh, that would be good. All right, so I'll do the bucket once I get that kind of outlined. All right, so that's going to be kind of you know I can change colors as need be, but that's going to be where it's going to park, and then kind of find the center of this. 
What's that? That is nine. Okay, and then what is that? Let me go length lengthwise. That is twenty-five. Okay, twenty-six. So that would be twenty-five there. Let's go twelve here. Okay, because so that's the center point right there. All right. And I can paint this here. Oh, turn the bucket on. There we go. All right. So that's kind of the center of the helipad, and then I'll paint it so that it's you know hexagon. But uh, all right. So let's go ahead and save this up to one of those. Then I want to load in. barge here. Then I'm going to have to raise the whole um, helipad enough to incorporate all of it. Not that much. This will kind of tell me how much I have to raise it. So let's grab all of that. So I wanted the uh, helipad to be raised up anyway. I'll come in like this. And so the center of the bullseye needs to match up with the center point there. I can do it this way. I think I'll do it this way. It's a little asymmetrical. I'm going to have to fix it, but um, I think I'll do it. No, I don't want it that way. It has to be sideways because of I need to think of the approach angle of how I'm coming in so that I don't end up um, hitting something. Let's go one wider this way. I think I still have space to do that. Okay, so that's centered there. And let's come up till. Okay. So this actually can go underground. So that's actually all right. That would be fine. That there's plenty of space underground for this. This actually works like this. All right, good. All right, and then this needs to. Um, yeah, it's not. It doesn't need to be perfectly symmetrical. That doesn't need to be perfectly symmetrical. I don't think. Uh, but I will. I will make it a little bit more symmetrical here. He's, it just needs to come one in this direction. I should not have done it like that. I should do it like this. All right, so just kind of making a, I'm an octagon, not an octagon, hexagon type shape here. Not perfect, it's a little bit wonky, I think, but uh, I can fix it later.
Alright, so that's that. And then I'm going to actually we'll pick this up off the ground. Initially going to put it on. Uh, initially going to put it uh, underground a little bit, but I think I'm going to raise it and put it on stilts a little bit. Get it as far that way as I can. I don't want it too tall. Ah, I didn't grab a part of it. Let me see. Yeah. Redo it. We'll do to about maybe there, just a little bit off the ground. It doesn't need to be very tall. And we'll kind of go to the extreme there. There we go. I like that better. All right, and we will do the same supports that we've been doing on everything. Try to just get it to the ground. I don't need to go underground. All right, so this is also going to allow it so that uh, Katie can sit there if it gets windy here, which I assume it's going to get pretty windy. Um, we don't end up with problems where it's, um, you know, it's getting blown off the pad. This will hold it on the pad. Same purpose. Um, same purpose as having these locks on the barge. Is it just makes it um, nice and strong. Just giving us options essentially of how we want to operate. Okay, good. So there we are. play with some colors here. I'm not necessarily thrilled with the colors I have set for this. And I can do more advanced decorating later. I'm just kind of kind of just working it now, getting it functionally in and then once that's functionally in, I can go ahead and do some other stuff to it. Alright, so this is giving us all sorts of places to put our toys, which is good. That's going to help us to, um, really just help us to, you know, pretty much use everything that we uh, need to, function-wise. Alright, so this should work well. Hopefully, um, I need to test to make sure that I have plenty of space for the um, Katie to park on here, but I think it should be fine. I'll test it in a second here. And then this is going to give me just really good, um, really good versatility at this base. Really kind of make it do everything I need it to do. Yeah, we can operate all our boats, we can operate our air vehicles, so it's uh, good functionality here. Okay, 
All right, so that's good. That's there's a little helipad in there. Then what we do here is put a little step here. All right, so we're all set there. That's now a new helipad. Let's save that here. All right, so, you know, I'm not thrilled with the skip. Um, it's something I want to change at some point, but um, it's not bad. And then let me add on a, add down or add another rope anchor here. Um, that way I can tie down, if I want to put Brigeau up alongside here, I should be able to do that without a problem. Can I move that ladder on the side? Probably not, with the way I have the, uh, it's not sticking out very much, but you know, one of the issues, I'm wondering if Virgil's that close, if it's going to recall it, but here's just a couple tie downs. If I want to pull it in here, I can do that. So pretty good. That's got us kind of set. So let me save this. And let's grab the Katie did. Um, so what I'll do here is I will um, spawn that. Okay, so that's in the world here. Let's save this map here. That's just my test seed. And then let's, uh, we'll do a test flight of the Katie did to see um, how well it will attach. All right. So. Probably underestimated the size of the Katie did a little bit, but as long as it fits, we're good. So that's the big thing. Still a couple things I want to do with the Katie did. It needs to move a little bit. Um, or that or Some things need to be moved. That panel should be moved. I think I talked about that a little bit. The um, So the winches are doing this thing here. We have to detach them and reattach them to get them to work. Hopefully they fix that bug that they introduced last patch. Just a couple panels I want to move that, you know, are, they're human factors issues. They're in the way and, you know, don't know they're in the way, going to be in the way in your build until you kind of play with the build and see what it does. Alright, so there we go. Um, let's do detach coupling. Alright, so that, I didn't hook up the coupling, so that's not going to work at present, which is fine. I can manually do it. What's the heading here? Do a heading of uh, eight seven. So I like to set it in the, um, the heading hold there when I try to do this. Um, that just makes it one less um, direction I have to worry about here. So this is like none of this is set up, so that's why I, like I'm, I can't really see the bullseye. But I'm just gonna do third person test. The pad's a little bit small. A little bit small, but it will fit the Katie did, which is what I want. So that's the main thing: is will it fit? And it will. So it's kind of weird having it. Um, I think I'm going to turn it the other way. Um, that way, the door is on the latter side. Um, but that's okay. It, it attached. Okay, perfect. So that actually works pretty well. Okay, yeah, that works. Um, So that works. Um, yeah, see, I can't really go. Uh, I could go the other way, but I'm afraid of hitting this rock. Um, I think I'll just put another staircase over here. Pad's a little bit on the small side, but it fits. So that that's kind of that's a good. Uh, it's functioning well. It's a little tight, but uh, what we'll do is to finish up. I'll just uh, plumb it in so it has all the plumbing that um, this one does. And that'll be good. So let's uh, go ahead and recall the barge. Okay. It's going to 
misbehave. So that's good. That locks in. So, you know, if we put on uh, max wind. Yeah, you see how bad the wind is. You know, the Katie did can't blow off. You know, the Katie is going to sit there. See how it's trying to move? Um, shouldn't move that much. Okay, it's not attached to this one. Yeah, so it's yawing. It shouldn't yaw because that other attach, but that didn't get hooked, so. Um, yeah, so it only attached to one, so that uh, is an issue. But uh, we'll work on that. See if I can get it to attach here manually, just pushing on the tail. But yeah, so if once that attaches both sides, like, <laughs> you can see how the, uh, the uh, barge here is not liking this strong of a wave. The bar just trying to join us up here on land. All right, good. So let's go ahead and grab this barge. I'm trying to remember what I'm doing. All right, good. So now let's do. Um, so I want to grab. Okay, it's actually already there. Let's clear it. Okay, and let's I'll get rid of this wind. Yeah, see the water comes up close, but it never comes up. I'm glad that kind of have it set that it actually won't swamp us. Let's go in here and edit. This just needs to be connected up. So the pad's a little bit on the small side, but it's not bad. It actually fits. Um, what I want to do here is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually do it. I will um, flip this around. Uh, I want it to flip the other way so that it um, so that the door that Katie did is uh, facing the staircase essentially. Um, where is the center point? I think that's it there. Yep, that should be it there. So it's going to face this way now so that we'll approach this way over the rocks and then um, the entry doors will be here on the staircase side instead of the entry doors being on the other side. So that's good, and then I just need to hook up the logic here. So I thought it was all hooked up. What is that? That is slide. Okay, slider speed's fine. That's not okay. That's good. Um, electricity. All right. So I need to let me try to plumb up some electricity for this house. Um, let's look at the house. So let me see. I think this is north. Yeah, that's north. So uh, the way that you want, when you're doing solar panels, what you want to do is, um, you know, this is north, right? So the sun rises in the east, sets in the west. All right, so the sun will go, will do this path like this, right? So if you put your solar panels on here, on your... Um, south facing side of the house that's gonna uh that will let you um that will essentially let you get solar the, the whole day or the majority of it so um I'm trying to think how i want to set up these solar panels i think i might do it back here actually gonna put on the roof but like if it was on this exposure of the roof here I would have put them up here and just put them on pivots so they would fall flat but uh, I think I'll do them up here okay so we're coming right on the um, edge of the no build zone here Do that. Let me see how I can set this up. Oh, 
Okay, let me do this. Um, okay, those are four buys. Of course they are. Actually, I can do it probably pretty simple here. Is that one, two, three? How do I do one, two, three, four, five? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, and that one's going to be one, five. Five. All right, good. So let's just do this. Um, and those should probably be those wedges there. They are wedges. Okay, good. And then let me do. I know the solar panels aren't very powerful, but I'm not really ready to, um, we don't need a ton of power yet, um, so I don't want to go right into doing fuel generated solar. I think it would be kind of cool making a new plant for this little house. but. Uh, kind of start with this um, so kind of the final thing I'm going to do is just kind of plumb up some electricity not thrilled about how this is looking but um, It's not the end of the world. I can fix it or change it if I want later. I'm trying not to make the good the enemy of the, per or the perfect the enemy of the good here. Um, not exactly how I want it, but it's not bad. I should probably connect to these all before I did before I move them and merge them so they'd be all hooked up. So we, we're not going to need a ton of power in this. This is going to have all player controlled lights uh, from player sensors so that. We don't, uh, yeah, so that when we're actively not in the room, it's not lighting it up. It's just controlling doors. The house itself isn't going to need much power. You know, the davit's going to work whenever we put the boat out. That's it. You know, the, um, the helipad signal is going to be on only when Katie is coming in for a landing. And then once it attaches, they go out. So it shouldn't be very uh, energy intensive, this house. And then what I'll put on is an automated generator at some point so that um, will automatically come on if need be. And hopefully the solar should do most of it. You know, we're not going to be here most of the time. We're going to be out doing stuff. And the, um, you know, the sun will be giving us a little bit of electricity. Again, solar is not that powerful in game, but it um, is something. I think I saw somebody made a, uh, a windmill or a, not a windmill, a wind turbine. Um, that'd be kind of cool. All right, so that's all connected there. Let's get a battery going. Let's put one. Let's put it under here for now. And move stuff. Make it a little bit more attractive later. Okay, that's good there. And then battery can come here. This can go over here and plumb into everything over here. And this can plumb into everything over here. All right, so that's all set up. Um, all right, let's spawn it and let's make sure infant electricity is off. It is. All right, so we can walk up this staircase, walk up here. Now that's facing this way, we'll have the access to the doors. Let's see if I can actually act. There we go. All right, so that's lit up. All right, so that lights up nicely. This functions. Door should open. Yep. All right, pretty simple. Um, let me check the... Yeah, so 
not using much battery with that. Let me check the solar. So we'll put on some sort of sensing system here. So we're capped off. It looks like we're getting plenty of sun. Where's the sun? Uh, actually, that's perfect. So we're sub-equatorial, it seems. Um, so, you know, if you're uh, north of the equator, um, make sure I'm looking the right direction. Yeah, that's north. Uh, where actually? Yeah. So this is north. So we're sub-equatorial because the sun is rising behind us here. So yes, yeah, so this, this must be the equator up here or something. But um, yes, that's actually the right side to have these on, anyways. Um, you know, I'll probably make these a little bit better, um, these solar panels. But, um, like, right now it's perfect. We're getting enough solar to run this place. So that's good. Let me save it up, and I think we'll call that an episode. So we're getting a really good working base here. It's starting to um, have a lot of things we need. Um, yep. All right, so I think we'll call it there. See you later.